Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on implicit differentiation. Now in this particular tutorial what I want to show you is how we find the equation of a tangent to a curve that's defined implicitly. We've got y squared minus 2xy equals 3x squared. And we've got to find the equation of the tangent at the point where x is 1 given that y is greater than 0. So how do we basically do this? Well if we were to sketch the graph well that's going to be quite difficult because it's given implicitly. So let's just say the graph looks something or part of the graph looks something like this. Then we've got a point on the curve where x is 1. Let's say it's that point there. So we know that x is 1, we don't know the y coordinate and we're trying to find the equation of the tangent. So if that were the tangent okay, to the curve, the equation of tangent is going to have the form y minus y1, let's just write it down here, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. We've got our x1 coordinate, it's 1, but we haven't got our y1 coordinate. So we're going to need that y coordinate and that's the first place that we start. Okay, We take the equation and we substitute x equals 1 in it to find out what y will be. So if we do that, let's just say when x is 1, if we put that into the equation we're going to have y squared and then it's minus 2 times 1 times y, so that's going to be 2y equals 3 times 1 squared which is going to be 3. So you have a quadratic equation and so therefore if we rearrange it into the form y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0 we would then factorize it or if it didn't factorize use the quadratic formula but this one does factorize y y would have a 3 there and a 1 there and minus and a plus. Okay, If you check that out you will get that equation. And in the usual way either y minus 3 equals 0 or y plus 1 equals 0 and that leads to y equaling 3 or y equaling minus 1. But we know that y has got to be greater than 0 so obviously this value isn't valid in this question. So if we just say that since y has to be greater than 0 we therefore have that y equals 3. So what that means is that this point on the curve has coordinates 1, 3. So we'll get rid of that question mark and we'll just put in that that's 3. Okay? Right, so we've got our y1 value at 3 and we've got our x1 value at 1. But what we haven't got is our gradient, m. So to get the gradient, we need to find the gradient at any point on this curve. And to do that, we're going to need to find dy by dx for the implicit equation up here. So let's just bring that back. We'll just say now y squared minus 2xy equals 3x squared and we've got to differentiate this with respect to x. So we just put that WRT x. Differentiate with respect to x. So if we do differentiate this with respect to x, in the usual way, I mean if you're not sure about implicit differentiation just make sure you go back look at my first tutorial on this. So Differentiating y squared with respect to x, we're therefore going to have 2y dy dx. Now when it comes to this term here, 2x times y, we're going to need the product rule. So put a minus square bracket and so in the usual way for the product rule, take one of the parts here, 2x, multiply it by the differential of the other part. So differentiating y with respect to x is just going to give me 1 times dy dx. Okay. Then we've got plus and then we just take the y 
and we multiply it by the differential of 2x with respect to x, which is just simply going to be 2. Close the square bracket, equal sign, and then we differentiate the 3x squared with respect to x, and that's going to be 6x. Let's expand the bracket next and see what we get. We're going to have the first term, 2y dy dx, and then we're going to have minus 2x dy dx, and then minus on that plus it's going to be minus 2y, and that equals the 6x. What I notice now is that we could divide each term by 2. So that would simplify things. 2 into 2 goes 1 all the way through there and then 2 into 6 goes 3. So all we need to do now is just make dy dx the subject. So we could factorize what we have on the left here as being y minus x and put dy dx at the rear here, equals, and then if I add y to both sides, I'm going to have 3x plus y, so it equals 3x plus y. So therefore, if I divide both sides by y minus x, I get that dy by dx is going to be 3x plus y all over y minus x. So we've got the gradient at any point x and y. Okay, This has got x's and y's in, so we need to look at the particular gradient at the point where x is 1 and y is 3. So if we just state down here that when x equals 1, y equals 3, we can find the value of dy by dx. So we've got that therefore dy by dx equals, well putting the 3 through here, We've got 3 times x, that's 3 times 1 is 3, and then this 3 in here gives us another 3, so that gives 6, all divided by y take x, so 3 take 1, which is 2, and that clearly gives a gradient of 3. So we've now got our m value, and we're ready to find the equation of the tangent using this version of the straight line. So let's just put down that therefore the equation of the tangent okay, might as well say at 1, 3 is. So what is it? Well we can write it indirectly now as y minus y1, y1 being 3 equals m the gradient which is 3 bracket x minus x1 which is 1 and all we need to do then is just tidy this up so we could expand the bracket and add 3 to both sides and what we get is y equals 3x minus 3 add another 3 so that just comes to 0 so the equation of the tangent is y equals 3x which, if you look closely to this, is not drawn correctly because y equals 3x would actually pass through the origin. But this was just up here as a guide to what to do. And whilst we're here, by the way, if you're asked to find the equation of the normal, then remember the product of your gradient should equal minus 1, so the gradient of the normal would be minus 1 third. So all you've got to do is just write out this equation again, but instead of putting 3 here, just put minus 1 third, and then clean it up. OK, so I hope you've been able to follow that, and can use this particular method as uh, an example for when you're having to find tangents or normals to implicit equations of curves. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.